Hello folks, my name is Infopax. Welcome to this little tips and tricks Fortnite video. Uh, before we get into it, I just want to say that this is mainly going to be PC stuff. Uh, there's probably going to be a few settings here and there that, you know, you can do on console. But uh, this is going to be focused on keyboard and mouse gaming. So, uh, you know, if you're not playing on PC, this video may not be as important. I'm still going to go through a lot of stuff that console players can still do. But, you know, I just want to point that out. This is going to be for PC, you know, keyboard and mouse gaming. So a lot of people have brought up during live streams that uh, I, I keep doing okay, actually, during my shotgun fights. I don't need to, like, jump around like a rabbit. I kind of hit my shots and, you know, I'm done with it. Uh, and there's really... I, I gotta thank TSM Myth for this because he actually brought up a really good tip that I... I keep telling people about it, but no one listens to, and it's to lower your sensitivity. You gotta lower your sensitivity. You know, I could show you my sensitivity, I can show you my DPI, that doesn't matter, because my sensitivity is, you know, perfected for me. I've been trying so many different settings, dude, but this is the one that feels good for me, and this is why I play with it. I recommend you guys just keep playing and trying different sensitivities until you find the one that really fits. So, keyboard and mouse, what do I think? First of all, keyboard, not as important as the mouse, in my opinion. Because a keyboard, you don't need to be sensitive with the keyboard. There's no DPI for the keyboard. All you got to do is feel comfortable with it. You know, you got to know where you got your keys. Uh, you got to have it so your hand doesn't feel uncomfortable at all. You want to have it in a rotation, a position that, you know, it just feels natural to click the keys. And uh, that's what I've done. I got this compact keyboard. I'm going to leave a link for it in the description. And uh, it's really nice, it's red, I like the color red, and you know, all this RGB stuff, that that's not necessary. All this fancy fancy stuff, it's not necessary, guys. Just as long as the keyboard is comfortable, that's all that matters. A lot of that applies to the mouse too. All this RGB stuff, it doesn't matter. I got this Logitech uh, G502, I believe it's called. Again, link in the description. What's cool about this mouse is that I got a lot of uh, options with it uh, when it comes to DPI my scroll wheel, and I got a few buttons on the side too, which I actually use for building. So uh, I got three buttons that I can hit with my thumb. Uh, one is keyed to uh, the number nine on my keyboard, which is why you see nine on the uh, bottom right uh, by the stairs. I got that set to my uh, mouse, and then I got the walls and the uh, flat floors too. So I can just easily build on the spot by clicking on the mouse. Uh, I highly recommend getting a mouse like that. You know, it's not essential. You don't need it to build, but uh, for me, it's it's just way quicker, and I love it. Before I get into all the software stuff, you know, all my settings on my keybinds, that kind of stuff, uh, you know, in further detail, I just want to go through one more thing in the physical area, and that is that a lot of people I see, uh, they don't clean their mouse pads, and that puts them at a really huge disadvantage. I highly recommend you guys just clean it in some way, you know, it could be just swiping with your hand on it. You know, just find some way to swipe it off. Uh, you can Google it up. There's a few different ways to actually clean a mouse pad, more than you'd think. Uh, I highly recommend you do that because you don't want to have dust on it. Uh, that's going to ruin your performance a lot. Uh, you know, your DPI stuff, it's just not going to work as well. Now, key bindings. What do I do? What do I use? Why do I use it? Uh, I use caps lock for my uh, pickaxe because it's right above shift. I run with shift. So, you know, why not just have it right there? Not waste any other important key. I just have it on caps lock. Very comfortable to use for me. For my inventory, I use F, V, B, Q, and X. I usually put like meds and shields and whatnot uh, on the X key because that's the one I have a harder time clicking on. Uh, it's not that it's difficult or uncomfortable, it's just that it's easier to click like F, for example. I use Q for snipers or other special weapons, if you will, like rocket launchers, the Deagle. For F, I almost always, 99% of the time, I use F for assault rifles. You know, the only instance where I don't do that is if I play like an, an LTM or if I just don't have an AR. But that's where what I use F for. So if I have like any other gun on F, I get confused. That is just so weird. Uh, for V and B, uh, I tend to run double shotguns, you know, whether it's uh, pump, tack, uh, heavy, whatever. I like to have V uh, being the pump, uh, and then B could be either the uh, heavy or the tack, depends on what I have for loot. Again, as far as building goes, I use uh, my mouse for this stuff. I, I mapped one of the mouse buttons to 9. And the other two are already like uh, independent buttons, so I use them for building. I don't have a key for the rooftop because there's really no reason for me to use 
the rooftop in Battle Royale, you know, it's it's not necessary. I know that console players uh, use it a lot uh, for stairs. They kind of uh, they kind of edit it and use it like that, which is really smart. I, there's just no need for me to do that on PC because I can just instantly click on stairs and you know save time that way. Now, as far as like copying my uh, inputs go, like I mean, yeah, you could try them out, but. I'm not sure you're gonna be comfortable with them. Key bindings are very personal. That's something that you gotta try out for yourself. You gotta see what fits. Like I've tried so many different key bindings. I used to have B being G. I used to have like reloading with E. I used to move with ESDF. Like I've tried a lot of stuff, guys. And this is what I feel most comfortable with. I don't feel comfortable swapping guns with the one, two, three, four. That just doesn't work for me. It really comes down to personal preference and uh, that comes with time, you know, you can't just guess what you like, you gotta play enough to know, hey, I don't like this, hey, I like this. Uh, so, you know, it all comes down to playtime and preference. Speaking of playtime, how do I get better? Well, you play. Uh, that's really the simplest answer. You go and play and you die and then you analyze why you died and why you suck and then you get better and then you keep, you know, improving that way. You keep dying, you keep improving uh, until you win. Like, there's no point in there's no point in hiding in a bush and kill one guy at the, you know, uh, final circle and win. You're not going to improve that way. You're going to get a win, sure, but you're not going to improve as a player. And, you know, improvement just comes with playing the game. You know, I'm not as good as Ninja because Ninja has played way more than I have. I'm not as good as Myth because Myth has played way more than I have. You see how that goes? Also, this is a little uh, bonus tip for people who recently swapped over to the PC. I know a lot of people, because of Fortnite... Uh, swapped over to the PC master race if you will it took me like a year to get half decent with key of the mouse I started playing early BO3 you know around that time that's when I kind of started PC gaming I got BO3 I got like CSGO and stuff I was horrible like getting a kill was amazing to me I was so surprised I got a kill like it takes a lot of time and a lot of effort to get half decent with a mouse and keyboard. But you know, if you guys learned something, if you guys found something useful, please leave a like and maybe if you have your own tips, leave it in the comments. I'd love to know, you know, maybe there's something I could learn from you guys because uh, I would love to improve, you know, that's my main goal with Fortnite, just keep improving. Anyhow, guys, my next upload is going to be highlights number five. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait. I already got some insane clips for you guys and uh, it's going to be ridiculous. Can't wait to show it off. Uh, until next time, guys, my name is Infopax. Have a great evening. <laughs> Bloody bloody, we likes to fall.